This segment of Open Your Eyes is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Grace, bringing good taste to life. And welcome back. And of course, we are in the Grace in You kitchen, ready to cook up a storm with Sharon. And uh, joining us this morning as well is somebody who was on the show last week talking about lionfish. We have Nidia Chakon from the Belize Lionfish Project. Uh, and today, as promised, we are going to be cooking this very famous fish now. That's right. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning, morning. Melanie. Okay. So well, I know we have two recipes to start up today, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So we have the, the fish, which uh, um, I'll be doing with um, creamy baked fish. So this lion fish is going to be big lion, lion fish. fish all right, gonna, we have our lion fish right. on display here. We can remember what that looks like. I didn't clean these ones, but they, they look pretty clean. You know, I, I can give the stamp of approval there, Nidia. Okay. <laughs> so just to let people know, in that the texture of the meat is, uh, it's almost like grouper. Yeah. It's pretty. Let's look at that. Yeah. It's it's real white. Mm hmm. And it's like between grouper and snapper. Okay. It's a really tasty fish. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to do a very special recipe with it today. So we're going to start off with a bit with uh, what we're doing, a sweet corn and potato medley, Nidia. That's that right. Is, that okay. is right. Today I'm going to be improvising and putting my cooking skills into action. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> so we will begin, well, of course... We had two med medium potatoes, uh -huh. wash them, clean, peel them, and dice them. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be adding approximately two tablespoons of grazed coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be adding the potato. This is our main Listen ingredient. So that sizzle. And turn it up here for you. There we go. So we're going to try to brown this a bit. That's right. Mm -hmm. So meanwhile, she's browning that and get that um, all start cooking. I'll be seasoning the fish here. Right. It's all nicely washed with some lime. And we have it filleted as well. Yes, it's filleted. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be using some uh, malher consomme as our salt here. So obviously, uh, we were talking, Sharon, about the fact that you've been following what uh, the people from the Belize Lionfish Project have been talking about. That's right. And you've had a chance to test out uh, cooking yes. with the lionfish. That's right. What I did with one of the, the, the small ones, I just steamed it. Okay. Usually, if uh, you, you steam a, a fish and the flavor comes out, you basically could do anything with it. Yeah. I mean, steamed fish is just, yeah. you know. So what we're going to put in here is some black pepper. Get it all... Season up. Some malheur garlic powder. You know, garlic goes along with the seafood. You can't leave the garlic out. Yeah. There you go. And you know, so. some people are just so touchy about the type of fish that they eat as well. Right. Um, have you tested it out on your customers at the at the restaurant? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So. I was telling them last week when they were on that it's, it's going to look exotic to put a, a lion fish on their menu. Okay, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be putting it, put the fish here in a foil. Uh huh. Slate the seasoned fish in foil here. Okay. Isn't this smell making you feel hungry? Yes. But I know <laughs> I get to sample at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't exactly share through television as yet. All right, so we have our fish here. Okay. We set that aside. Okay. And what we have here is um, some grated um, carrots mm -hmm. and some onions mm -hmm. and bell peppers. Okay. And what we're going to be doing with them is mix them together. Put all of them together here. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to add to that is some um, coconut powder. powder. So Grace coconut powder. That's right. So a couple, a couple teaspoons of that. Well, my potato is already uh, browning, so I'm going to be adding some, okay. some seasoning to it. Some okay. seasoning and to this it. is the malher mm -hmm. consomme. Well, you know, at home you're going to be not really exactly with measuring yeah. tables, yeah. but <laughs> with spoons. So okay. we're going to be judging about approximately two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding some water. Okay. Okay. And in the meantime, Sharon, you have added your milk 
your coconut milk powder. That's right. And now I'll be ha adding some gray sea buffer in now. Okay. Right? Mm. And we turn this into like a paste. All right. Right? And look at that sizzle on that potato. <laughs> that was when you added the water, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what we're going to be doing here now is... Uh, this is going to bake along with the fish? Yeah, we're going to spoon this over the fish. Mm -hmm. Right? There we go. Mmm. Carrots and coconut and onions and sweet pepper. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring out a real good flavor. So, Nidia, have you tried the fish like this yet, or are you going to be having it for the first time like I will? I have tried it in fish fingers. Um, I haven't tried it as in ceviche, and this one will. I so believe it's going to be very tasty. Okay. I love it. We're going to be packing it up here, and that's going to go ahead and bake. Yeah, right. and we're going to be putting this in the oven. Okay. Right. So, um, let's see what happens now with our potatoes. Well, no, it's already browning, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding... A medium-sized sweet pepper and also onion to it to bring the flavor. Mm -hmm. I am going to be adding malher garlic to okay. it for flavor. Do you want me to stir here a little bit? Sure, thank you. I always feel like I'm, I'm really cooking, at least if I just stir. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I'm black pepper. Then I'm learning <laughs> in the process. All right. So we added our onions or sweet pepper. We added uh, yeah, a little bit of or water. Or spices. So that is, yes. Or spices. Yeah. And of course, it was one cup of water that mm -hmm. we, were, we are using. Mm -hmm. We add them a little at a time. Yeah. So that we we bring out the flavor. Okay. And we let it simmer. Gonna let it simmer that. for a little while, mm -hmm. for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does it look? It okay. looks good. What we oh, have you're asking yeah. Karen? <laughs> okay, okay you're what we have here is our, our lionfish. And this is what it looks like after baking. Mm -hmm. With uh, like some carrots, sweet pepper, and onion. And it's like, if you're doing like a pong of fish, mm -hmm. pong of the fillet, um, what you could do, what you'd be using here is like maybe one carrot. Okay. Uh, a small onion and a small sweet pepper. Okay. And um, you season your fish, mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like. Okay. It's really, it's really tasty. Now we just and have we to wait, wait, on, wait our on our potatoes, potatoes here to be ready to add to our and lion it, it, it's fish really dish. good with um with coconut rice yeah. or any rice as well as potatoes. Tell us a bit about the flavor of the lionfish itself. Uh, it's it's rich in flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really um, and like I thought that you maybe if you can just uh do any kind of way you know like mm -hmm. maybe ju you maybe can't fry it it's not good fried mm -hmm. or maybe it's not did you try it did yeah. you try it's all really, the different ways yeah. it's really good well, like i said if you steam a fish mm -hmm. and the flavor is there then you pretty much could do fish. you pretty much could do anything with it all right so we can <laughs> do so, but today we've been able to do our a creamy baked, fish. baked lion fish and we're re waiting now on our potato medley so uh there's also supposed to be corn added to this right Yes, mm -hmm. the sweet corn goes at the end. Of mm -hmm. course, it's grazed whole corn, mm -hmm. sweet corn. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just waiting a little bit for the potato to get soft so that okay. it's edible. So and we're um, supposed to mix up some cornstarch as well? Yes. All right. I'll probably give it a, a little body. Mm -hmm. It's like you're doing a stew potato. Okay. Well, I'm glad that um, our cook here likes to cook with the lionfish. <laughs> Maybe after this... Mm -hmm. People in their homes are going to be mm -hmm. into this land. Fish, you know, that's what we are hoping to do. Well, it's, it's another fish, and um, fish is always good for you. And yeah. Well, and we never thought that we had um, something as tasty as this in the sea, huh? And again, we're, we're trying to go back to being able to have people eat this type of fish. Nidia, have you thought of doing uh, cooking competitions with the lionfish and, and get some of our top chefs to come out and see what they can come up with? Well, that's a good idea that you're giving us right now. Yeah. Um, actually, is there something going on on the holiday right now? Yes. I was going to say that just now in Placencia on mm -hmm. Saturday, there's going to be a lionfish tournament. Okay. And there will be cook-offs. Similar to what they did in uh, San Pedro? Yes, but okay. bigger because in San Pedro there was grilling and, and so forth done by, by um, the staff. Mm -hmm. But this, this is going to be done by the local. Okay. So they are going to be improvising. Mm-hmm. 
coming up with their own recipes and mm -hmm. cooking. Come on, I wasn't told about that. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go back to Blessed and cook up. Probably, probably you're going to be here for La Ruta Maya. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Well, you know what I wanted to say about this lionfish too? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a season. Mm -hmm. And you can kill them at any size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. <laughs> you don't have to worry <laughs> that you're going to be breaking any fisheries law. Yeah. And, and I think point? people were really just underscoring to people that, you know, I don't think we, we want the lionfish the out of the, okay. the water and we want it on your plate. Corn, you know, of course, you I have already it. drained the water from this corn. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is our sweet corn and potato medley that we'll be serving along with, with our, our creamy fish. baked lion fish. Looks like we're done with that, so okay. let's serve it up so I can start something. <laughs> you getting ready to eat? <laughs> well, after you smell all the food being made, you know, I, I know you guys put a lot of thought into these recipes. It's really just the best thing that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, guys. And there we go. We have our lion fish. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, why is it that you are the first one to taste? Do you want to taste? We should grab <laughs> a fork for you as well. We want you to try a new lion fish recipe. There you go. There you go. Now, of course, these uh, recipes are available on the Grace Kennedy's website, and we use we all Grace products garnish. here. Ooh, yes. So where does this go? On, on potatoes. Mm -hmm. you so you learn something when you come in Grace and you. There you go. That's mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we had some cilantro as our garnish there. Like I said, uh, the recipes are available on Grace Kennedy's website. And, uh, you know, cook up your land fish and enjoy. That's right. All right. That's it for us up here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be in studio doing all wrap-up. Stay tuned. segment of Open Your Eyes is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Delicious, oh Grace, I'm so anxious, cause I'm falling in love with your new product, Grace Lunch and Me. It's good for you and me, me grandpa and me granny, Grace Lunch and Me. Yes. It could be everybody Grace, Grace, lunch and eat New product when it hit the country Grace, Grace, lunch and eat Ready to eat, come and join me Grace, Grace, lunch and eat Try it, you'll love it A wise person once said that women are the backbone